Outdoor dining to riverboat cruises, historic Stillwater really does have something for everyone. It's just such a great I town. I love isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly why Allie decided to uh, stroll the streets of Stillwater this morning and then go inside because it was raining. Hi, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we chose wisely this morning, Jason. When you think Stillwater, maybe you think antique shopping, and we're at Mama's Happy this morning, and really that's what this place really embodies. It's a collection of creative pieces from local moms and local female artists, whether it's jewelry, pieces like this, or even local furniture. And if you feel like bringing in something old that you'd like to make new, uh, we've got TV trays that we're working on this morning, and I'm joined by the owner of Mama's Happy, Amanda Fitzik and Amanda, your story is really incredible, but this is your fourth location and you yeah. picked Stillwater. You opened earlier this summer. Why did you pick Stillwater? Well, we didn't have anything on the eastern side of the city, so I was sort of kind of looking in this general area. And I love the charm of Stillwater. I love that it's long been a place where people come looking for antiques. Um, but what we do is a little bit, I would say, updated, take the antiques and help them work in your home today. So we've been painting this morning with chalk paint and we've got a couple of TV trays that we've been working on this morning. You do chalk paint classes mm -hmm. and this is a way for people to learn how to maybe paint in their own home, but also maybe bring in something that they like, but they want to update a little bit. Yes. How do your classes work? So we offer a variety of classes. Our 101 is kind of your basic, I've never used this paint before, I want to see what all it can do. And so for that we have we have our students paint on just sample boards. We wanted them to experiment, play around, see what different looks you can get using the paint. But then sometimes we found somebody might have a piece that they are, you know, it's sentimental to them or um, they're just really nervous about painting on their own. So in that case we have them do the bring your own piece, come in, bring it and we'll paint with you, help show you help you get the look you're looking for. And now buy local is really something that has caught on uh, really during the recession and your story is really inspiring. Uh, you you started this business nearly five years ago mm -hmm. and you've seen it grow. What was it that led do you think to your business growth so fast? I think that um, people love to support local women, local um, businesses. Uh, people love to come someplace where they get inspired and I think they see even if they maybe haven't created some things to sell, they love coming in and seeing other women do that so we really have a great following and I think it goes back to that I think people just like to support you know their friends and that's basically who our artists are and you have a location in St. Paul and uh, also in St. Louis Park and when we were chatting you you said that even if you walk in this store when you go into the, a different store it kind of has that feel of that neighborhood it does we really try to figure out what sells at each store so each store does have a little bit different look different style um, you can tell that it's all the same feel to it um, but it, it's fun to be able to try out different styles and looks mid-century modern pieces might sell really well at one store and not at all at another store. So we're kind of learning that too. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So we'll be talking more about Stillwater in our six o'clock hour and hopefully uh, this paint will dry and we can get a little more creative too. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Allie. From outdoor dining to riverboat cruises, Stillwater really has something for everyone. That's exactly why Allie decided to stroll the streets of the historic River City this morning. Allie live at Mama's Happy. You're refurbishing old antique furniture this morning like you yourself. You're doing a little work. Yes, the owner of the store is here with us and she is working on some antique furniture. She's working on a TV tray this morning. Before we get to that, I'm joined by uh, Christy Rosquez, who's with Discover Stillwater and we're right along Main Street this morning, Christy. But what is the draw with Main Street, especially for families right now? Well, it's just a beautiful place for one of America's prettiest towns, so it's kind of a calm, relaxing destination to hit, and it's beautiful weather this weekend, so definitely lots of summer sales going on at the boutiques, and we have over 20 outdoor patios or rooftops, so you have to do a little dining. And we also have a new bike trail this summer, so I grabbed the bikes and hit the trail. It's fun for the kids. There's some interpretive displays along the way. It's called the Browns Creek Trail, and it actually connects to the Gateway trail which you can ride all the way to St. Paul if you're very ambitious. Um, kids also love to take the paddle wheel rides on the St. Croix River so that's a fun thing to do and something kind of unique and special on Saturdays I believe at 1030 they have something called the Storytime Trolley and so for only five dollars you can um, load your kids up onto the trolley and they take them up to Pioneer Park which has a really pretty view of downtown and someone reads them a story. And then they ride back down to this adorable little indie bookstore called Valley Bookseller, and they get a little coupon and can shop in the bookstore. 
Well, Christy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Amanda, I know you've been working hard uh, this morning, and this is one of four shops that you have across the Twin Cities. And it's a unique store because you work with local women who have local products in here. Right now, you're refurbishing a TV. But uh, how has the foot traffic picked up, and why did you pick up or why did you choose Stillwater for your location? Well, we were looking for something in the eastern suburbs. We had a lot of customers that were coming to our Grand Avenue store who live in Wisconsin, live in uh, Woodbury, those areas. And so I realized, okay, the demand is there. And I had more artists showing up wanting to sell their wares in our store. So I thought, well, let's check out Stillwater. I've always loved the town. It, it definitely embodies who we are. And I found the perfect spot in the Grand Garage. And so we opened in May. And if you're looking for something to pass the time, you guys offer chalk paint classes, and it's a way for someone, if they're looking to do some in-home decorating, you can refurbish something old and make it look still old, but yeah. in a different way. Right. It's a way to take things that maybe don't have a lot of character right now, or they have the character, but they don't have the updated look, and to make it fit in your own home. And with chalk paint, what I love is you can get a lot of different looks using the paint. So you can get the shabby, chippy look, but you can also get a very smooth, beautiful finish. So give us an example. We see this blue piece of furniture in front of us. How uh, was this kind of created and made to look old? So you can see the original brown stain kind of peeking through. So when we found it, that was the condition it was in. It just looked like something that many people might toss. And But we always see the potential in a piece like that. And so you can see the layer of yellow paint that's on there and then a layer of blue and then a little bit of white dragged across there. It gives the look that it's been painted all those colors through the years. Um, but something that now would look super cute sitting in your room or even out on your patio. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we want to let you know that there is uh, Mama's Happy Artisan Market coming up, and that is in September. It's September 10th, 11th, and 12th, and that's when you can meet all of the artists whose uh, artwork is on display here in one of their four locations. There's local food, local bands playing, and it's a great way to even get some in-home decorating ideas. Awesome stuff. Allie, thank you.